Welcome to another video where I am decluttering my to-do list and today I started with taking all the sheets off my bed because, you know, the baby decided to leak out of his diaper while I was nursing him, so that's what I got to do. My name is Lindsay and I hope that you are able to get some things done while I declutter my to-do list in this video. So I am starting some laundry, which is the sheets, and also pulling out any laundry that was already there so that I can put it away later. And I try and get my toddler to help me, but it doesn't always work out. Um, and so here I am just getting that done. I don't know how you guys are doing. I just had a baby three months ago and it is a struggle lately. So if I can just get laundry and dishes and wiping the counters done, I feel pretty good about it. And yep, so here we are just kind of getting a few things done. Dishes is the next thing on the list apparently. Uh, I filmed this video a couple weeks ago and I am just finally getting around to voicing over. And yeah, because my toddler decided to break my microphone. And so I ordered one and that microphone literally sounded so bad. <laughs> I did not want to put you through that for a video, so I had to order another microphone. This is just like a really cheap lapel mic, so I'm hoping it's working. I This is literally my test run right now, so I'm hoping that I can keep this little clip. If it's good, obviously, uh, you'll hear this in the video. Yay! It works! I'm so excited. So it's really funny because I got like a nicer microphone and it just did not do well. And so the microphone that I was using before was just like a cheap lapel mic and it worked just fine. I mean it would have some issues here and there but nothing like major. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna send back the other nicer with parentheses around that uh, microphone. Parentheses? No, air quotes. <laughs> I'm doing air quotes with my finger and I said parentheses, that's funny. Anyway, just uh, nicer with air quotes around it, the microphone, and I'm sending that back and I ordered a $10 lapel mic and I feel really good about it. So yeah, it's just one of those things, just trying to, um, I don't know, not hurt your eardrums with my microphone and the quality of it. So <laughs> in fact, I was giving myself a headache by doing it. But yeah, so dishes are always, always a great thing to get done, and I feel better when they're done, but they're, it's, just, it's one of those never-ending tasks, you know, that just, well, never ends. But, <laughs> but yeah, so, and it was really funny because uh, Dan kept trying to close the, close the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Dishwasher. The entire time I was trying to do dishes and Roxy always comes over to lick said dishes and <laughs> that's just kind of what being a mom is. I get to have all of these little um, humans and also little animals coming to lick my dishwasher or close it on me while I'm putting stuff into it. And sometimes, honestly, okay, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but when I I fill up the dishwasher, but it's not like all the way filled up and I'm able to start it. I almost feel more accomplished than if I fit, if, if I like completely fill up the dishwasher because I'm like, ooh, I was able to get it, I was able to get to the dishes before I even needed to do them, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> yesterday I did a load of dishes and I filled it up as much as possible and there were still dishes in the sink and I'm like, oh, this just feels like, oh, I just wish it. I could have gotten everything in there um, or that I had extra room in the dishwasher and still ran it, you know, because I'll, I'll run the dishwasher if it's got at least like 75% full and then sometimes, sometimes that happens, um, but most of the time it's like I fill it up and then I still have a couple things in the sink that I either have to hand wash or just put in the next load because sometimes I don't want to hand wash things and that's okay too, um, but yeah, oh. Also, I got an air fryer. I was It was given to me for free, so that's why I have an air fryer. And I've been using it for like chicken wings and like certain things and it's been really good. So that has been an addition to my kitchen. Speaking of my kitchen, I really, really, really need to declutter really bad. <laughs> So I'm hoping in an upcoming video you can come along with me while I declutter my whole kitchen and make it so that I it just functions better. I just have, you know, you know, I just have too much stuff. 
and I watched a minimal mom video. I started watching her um, like 73 oddly specific things. I never got really far into it. I think I started watching it and like turned it off after a minute because I had to do something with the kid. But um, I started watching that and it's just like, okay, Lindsay, you don't even need to like declutter any specific items. You just need to go in and declutter your kitchen. That is the next thing. Kitchens are very important to have um, streamlined <laughs> because you use them every single day and I am at a point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sick of all of this stuff in my kitchen. It's just too much. Just too much. And yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm going to come in with my vacuum and vacuum off the counter. Yep. Yep, right here. And it's because we get these elm seed bugs. I think that's what they're called. But they live near el near or on elm trees. And they're elm seed bugs. They come in through all the crevices in your house. We have little spots around the window that I think they're coming in through. I don't know how they do it. It's just, you know, they're like magic. They just pop in and then they lay in the windowsill and they heat and die. And then they're like box elder bugs but they're a little bit smaller and stinkier so I don't know if you've ever heard of them they're just a nuisance so they come in I'll vacuum them up and then my vacuum will smell like them it's weird <laughs> and like I don't like to even like grab them with a paper towel because once you grab them they like let out this this pungent smell and then it, like even through the paper towel it gets onto your hands I don't know how they do it they're like this they're like magical horrible bugs that just infest my house it's not too bad it's like a few come in through the day like throughout the day and it was really bad in like early July and that's when I was like vacuuming twice a day that area and then also the window in my dining room but once uh, fall comes they kind of stop doing it it's like slowly stopping so I don't really have to do it as much but yeah it's very annoying <laughs> so I don't know we have had like ants coming through I think I stopped that one by siliconing the spot that I think they were coming through so I haven't seen ants since uh, that one time it was around the same time that the elm seed bugs started coming into my house so yeah but oh there's the baby swinging in a swing and just vacuuming off the counter here as well. I don't even know if there are any bugs. I think I was just like, well, I've got the vacuum out already. <laughs> I'll just vacuum up all the crumbs and things. You know, I bet there were a few bugs though too. And I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just doing what I can, guys. It's not, it's not every day that I am able to get things done. And as you can see, like there's still places in my house that are needing some TLC, like the drawer where I have all of my Tupperware, or it's not technically Tupperware, it's just what I've always called it. They're food storage containers. It's just so much longer to say than Tupperware, you know? But I don't have actual Tupperware because I'm just, I'm cheap, so I don't buy that. <laughs> I don't buy those things um, because Tupperware is a name brand, and I don't really buy those very often, name brand things, you know? And then here is me cleaning off my my uh, stove a little bit and the counter next to it. I need to also go through my pantry. I technically have two. I have like one in my hallway that is a little like it's bigger and I keep like the stuff that I don't use as constantly and then I have this little one that's just right there in front of your face and yeah so I, I, I do need to declutter those as well. I, I just I have a long ongoing list of places to declutter. The garage is another big one. We, it's just every year it gets worse and worse. The last time we decluttered was, I think it was around Christmas time in the garage. And yeah, I think that was during Vlogmas actually. And it was crazy. I, it was so nice to get rid of so much stuff. We like took an entire truckload to the dump and it was amazing to get all, rid of all that stuff and have places to put things but now we have a few more things that we need to like I have a shelf that I want to hang up in there so that I can put all of the camping gear and whatnot on that because I, we just don't really have a place for camping gear but we don't want to get rid of our camping gear so you know we need a place to put all that stuff and yeah so new shelf would be good I have like these old they're old but they're not um 
palettes, wood palettes that I want to turn into a shelf to go above where we keep our four-wheeler. And Devin's like, well, we need to put that shelf up so I can actually put the four-wheeler back in the garage. You know, it's all those fun things. <laughs> so, yeah. And then here's some laundry. I feel like I'm doing laundry more than I was. And it's probably just because we have a baby and you feel like you have to wash everything for a baby and you probably don't I just I'm kind of a little bit crazy about like putting dirty things near the baby <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but then like a blanket will fall on the floor where the dog was laying and I'll like throw it back on the baby because I'm like I'm too lazy to wash it I don't know it just depends on the moment I guess and then just you know trying to have Dan help me with chores lately so I have him put things away and I tell him where they go. He was having a lot of fun climbing on top of the laundry pile, but he got really sad at the end when I was like, okay, we, the pile's gone. I can't, <laughs> you can't climb on a pile that's not there because I was having him help me. So he didn't get to climb on the pile as much as he wanted to, I guess. I don't know. Um, and putting, folding laundry. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just laundry guys. There's never enough of it, apparently, because I have to keep doing it, like, every day. Do you feel like your laundry is just, like, insane <laughs> as well? I don't know. <laughs> we have the two dogs, the two kids, and then us two, and so I'm washing sheets all the time. Like, this morning, Dan blew out of his diaper. Not, like, blew out, just, like, wet. He leaked out of his diaper, I should say, and... I had to wash his sheets and it's it's really easy just to like pull his sheets off the bed and throw them in the washer but then it's like the putting them back on before he goes to bed is always a struggle but it's okay so yeah but I try and try and uh, get all the laundry put away if I have a basket and dump it out that's when I'm like okay I need to put all of this away before I can do anything else but the baby must have been sleeping while I was doing this in his in his uh swing so that's really like the only place that he'll actually take a nap. And as I'm saying that, he's like literally in his swing right now, not taking a nap. So even though I tried really hard to get him to take a nap, guys, it's, but he's happy. It's okay. I am thinking he might be needing a diaper change. That might be a break that I need to take in a little bit, but that's okay. It's all right. So as you can see, Minion is my little watchdog. He sits and watches me, <laughs> and that's what I mean by watchdog. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started but
So I do feel like my whole life is cleaning this kid's room, um, vacuuming the floors, except I did get a robot vacuum. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> I've been gifted a lot of stuff lately. Uh, my dad actually, he is really good at finding things on like um, Facebook Marketplace and the classifieds and things, and he's able to get things for very cheap. And I had mentioned to him around Mother's Day, like I said to Devin while I was at my dad's house, and I was like, hey, De Devin, I would really love a robot vacuum. And then a few weeks ago, my dad's like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, um, yeah. <laughs> so it's not like a fancy one. It's just, it does work and we can control it with our phones, which is really nice. And it um, does clean up the house a little bit more than I would ever do because I hate vacuuming. So <laughs> that is, uh, that's been a nice little addition. However, I do feel like I am in Dan's room all the time just cleaning up his toys, guys. Like, I know. I know I need to declutter these things. I am not in the right mindset or frame of mind to declutter his toys yet. I don't know what it is. I am just sentimental about it. And, like, <laughs> I'll post videos of, um, like, my when I did his room reset, um... People were like, he just has too many toys. And guys, I don't really let comments bug me too much at all, really. <laughs> I, I don't. Um, I will um, just kind of laugh when people are like saying that kind of stuff just because I'm like, they're not, they don't have to live in my house. I am in charge of my stuff. And if I am not too triggered by it, too annoyed by it, then, or if I don't want to deal with it yet, then I just won't. And that's just kind of where I am. Um, I did have a little bin as I was cleaning his room right there on the chair of things I did declutter. So I, I do declutter some things here and there. Um, I think I did keep that box because I ended up finding all the toys that went with it because that's why I was going to get rid of it was uh, didn't have all the little pieces, but we ended up finding all the pieces. So I do think I'm going to keep that for when Joel is um, learning how to play with little things like that. But yeah, so <laughs> I really, I try not to let um, comments bug me, but yeah, some, sometimes they do. And that's just kind of being human. You let some things into your mind and some things you don't. Also getting this bookshelf, um, having all the books laid out um, up, upright, I guess. It looks so much better and it felt good, but my camera died halfway through doing it. So sorry about that. <laughs> you don't get to see the end result. Only I do. <laughs> So, sorry. Um, but yeah, so there's just like every little bit counts with decluttering and getting things done around the house. And even though he has too many toys, according to some people, sometimes according to me, he has too many toys. But he is three and um, toys are fun. <laughs> and he gets presents from grandparents and me and his dad. And it just, you know, you just got to you got to let them be three-year-olds. He still goes outside and has a huge imagination and I'll, I'll let him play in his room and I'll like watch him on his camera and he's just playing so good. And I don't know, like he doesn't even play with that many toys. He'll just like pull out a few and then he's just sitting there having them talk to each other and it's so sweet. And I don't know. Um, yeah, no one's perfect. So that's just kind of what I'm getting at. So just do what you got to do with your own house. And if someone says something to you about you have too many of this, you have too much of that, you don't have enough of this, you have the wrong dishes or whatever it is that they say, just don't worry. <laughs> You're the one that has to live in the house that you have or the apartment that you live in or the room that you have. No one else is coming in there and having to live in that space unless they actually do live with you. And then that's a completely different story. But just like how I'm sharing on the internet, my house, which I have a very, very strong backbone because I've been sharing so long on the internet. I really, I really just let things just slide off off my back I'm just like okay whatever <laughs> like you do you and I'll do me and um I know some people will come on here and say like oh you're apologizing don't apologize and it's not that I'm apologizing it's that I'm addressing something that someone said and then I'm I might like 
explain why I do something because sometimes people are just baffled like why do you load your dishwasher that way or why don't you just put your dishes in without scraping them and I'm not like saying oh I'm sorry for me doing that it's more like I'm just explaining because I think I think that's kind of who I am. I like to explain the things that I do sometimes. Well, and I have a toddler, <laughs> as you see. I have a toddler and my life literally is trying to explain to him why we do things and why we don't do things because, I don't know, it's it's like the, I don't want to do the, because I said so. I don't want to be the mom that says, because I said so. Like, that's why you have to do this. And I have caught myself saying that a few times and I hear hate myself when I say that. Okay. I don't want to say I hate myself, but I'm like, I catch myself and I'm like, okay, mind note, don't say that because it, it doesn't do any good. The kids don't understand when you say, oh, because I said so, because that's what mommy wants you to do. It's, um, because you don't want your kids to grow up just trying to please you. You want your kids to grow up and know why they're doing the things that they're doing and what's the reason behind the actions that they have to do or should do. And that's kind of where I'm at. So <laughs> I don't know. This is like a really interesting tangent that I went on, but that's kind of where I've been. And like motherhood is very um, interesting to me. And kids minds and them learning and trying to do better as a mom and yeah that's just kind of where I'm at and like my my boys are the most important things to me that and my husband and and my religion my my god is very important to me as well and I just I want that to come through um, as me being a person and just being here on the internet, I want to be a friend to you and a light, um, hopefully to help you do the things that you need to do, but also just be there for you while you're trying to be that 1% better as I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, <laughs> so, here I am sitting in my living room with my little <laughs> lapel mic holding it up to my mouth and just talking to a, a computer, but really I'm talking to my friends and you guys are you guys are there for me and I'm really grateful. Uh, by the way, this is me uh, changing over the baby's clothing size because he is now in the three to six month. I just couldn't even believe it. He just barely turned three months today while I'm doing this voiceover and he, and he um he's he's been in the three to six month clothing for about three weeks four weeks now and I'm just like no you can't grow up this quickly it's crazy he's so big it just feels like the time goes by so fast with these little ones and I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's like I miss him so little, but I'm also so excited to see him grow along with Dan and everything. It's just kind of crazy to see how time flies and looking back on pictures of when Dan was this little as well. And I don't know. It's just, you never have enough time, but it always feels like too much time when you're in the middle of it sometimes. So I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm thinking. You told me there'd be better days And nothing that can pull us under You wanna take the pain away But know that I was born as a fight We fail, we fail, but we're better than that We're better than that I know, you know, so I
just a few things I decided to declutter and now we're back to doing more laundry. Pretty sure this clip is exactly what motherhood is. <laughs> Two kids uh, turned on a show for my toddler and put the baby in the bassinet so that he could watch his little toys and while I'm doing a load of laundry and my hair is a mess and I literally just threw on an outfit that morning that I don't w isn't great but it, it works and I'm wearing my glasses instead of my contacts you know I'm just as easy as can be is where I need to be right now. Easiness is what I am striving for. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. It's not that I'm like struggling. It's that I'm just like trying to find a balance. And I, I did say to my husband, I'm like, I'm struggling. But I don't know if it's really struggling. I think it's really just like trying to figure it all out. Trying to decide how I want to go about things and how I want to do it now that I have two kids. I honestly did think that I would have more energy before having Joel, but uh, that is not the case, guys. <laughs> and you guys all called it. You're like, oh, I don't think you're going to be able to do everything that you think you're going to do after having a baby. And I was like, well, I think I will. <laughs> and then it happened and I'm exhausted and nursing is hard and um I don't know just the first few weeks of the baby's life was really difficult for me and I think I'm still kind of recovering from that you know and one day I'll get back to everyday Lindsay life but and I don't know but I'm trying to just like better myself do better health-wise as well as um feel better and so those are those are the things I'm kind of trying to get done so that I can so that I can do the things that I want to do because like um the other day I was, I was texting Devin while he was at work and I was just like I need I need help you know like not saying that he doesn't help it's just that like he's at work all day and I'm with the kids all day trying to also get things done and I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to get things done. And he's like, well, now that we have two kids, it's going to be a little bit harder. And we're going to have to like, you know, sacrifice some things. And I'm like, well, there's some things that are really important to me that I really don't want to sacrifice. And um, he's like, well, we'll figure it out then. And, you know, it's just there's some things that. I really want to figure out and make sure that I can I can do those things or that the kids can do those things or that Devin can do those things because it's important to have things for yourself along with um, being a parent and doing household chores. But honestly, making videos is something that's really important to me. So I'm trying to make time for that. And... It's just something that I love to do, and I know, like, I've had so many people comment, like, Lindsay, you don't really need to be making videos right now, you're on maternity leave, and I'm like, well, I, I do and I don't, um, like, I'm not, I don't feel pressured, except by myself, like, I want to do it for myself, and for you guys too, but mostly for myself, it's a little bit selfish, but, um, it's, it's like the one thing that I get to do that's not motherhood related. And I love being a mom. It's honestly the best job in the world. I am so grateful that I get to be a mom and that I have these two sweet little boys that I get to be a mom to. But, you know, I also want to be a human. <laughs> 
person that gets to do a few things for myself and feel good in the things that I'm doing. So I'm trying, I'm just trying to figure out a good balance between all these things and, you know, yeah, (laughs) but getting laundry done is always a good thing to get done. And so I'm watching myself putting away all these clothes and I'm like, yeah, that feels good. (laughs) So even just getting laundry done is a feat, but It's also good to get things done for yourself, even if it is just putting up a camera while doing the other things. And that's kind of where I think that's the balance I've been able to find is just while I'm doing the stuff that I'm already doing and needing to do is when I'm going to film. And yeah, so, you know, that's just that's kind of how life is. You just kind of have to sometimes you just have to make it easy. And I have a friend that is starting a YouTube YouTube channel and she's asking for advice and I'm just like, you know, she gave me she sent sent me a bunch of ideas of what she wants to film and I'm like, just make the ones you're most excited about. Um and also the ones that are the easiest because those are the ones that are gonna get done. Sometimes you just need to make things easy on yourself and I need to take that advice. <laughs> it's hard, sometimes hard to take your own advice, uh, your own advice, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I'm so grateful for all of you. You guys are just amazing. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.